let's take you to the model. And yeah. on our model today, we have a lady who loves nature. She is an environmentalist. Mm -hmm. She makes sure to plant trees on her birthday Absolutely. every other year. Let's check her out. My guest tonight is a female model. Meet Aida. <laughs> Aida, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you, Mule? I'm good. I'm good. I love your seats. I love the Ankara cautions that thank you got. You, thank <laughs> you. So, Hida, to, tonight it's all about Accounting. embracing your journey as a model, yeah? So, first thing first, take the honors to introduce yourself. My name is Aida yeah. um, Achieng Odeka. I like introducing myself with all my names. So, oh. Aida Achieng Odeka is my name. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a model and um, a sales consultant. Mm -hmm. uh, modeling has been a great journey for me. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the other things I like uh, is uh, conserving nature. So basically, I'm a graduate mm -hmm. uh, at Kenyatta University. Uh, mm -hmm. I pursued a uh, bachelor's in environmental science. And uh, currently, I'm pursuing my second degree in um, project planning and management. So basically, I want to get into a career of um, uh, oh. mm -hmm. embracing environmental sustainable projects. Wow, amazing. We are going to talk about me. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. We're going to talk about that. But right about now, for your fans, the people who are watching you for the first time, Maybe our Dewey, how tall you are, yeah? Physically, you're a tall lady. Okay, you're tall for a lady. <laughs> so how tall are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I'm tall for a lady. A lady can be as tall as me. <laughs> <laughs> so how tall? I'm 5'10". I'm 5'10". 5'10". But I like yes. it because your, your, your physique and your body match, eh? And then it really looks so amazing. <laughs> who doesn't love who doesn't love to ladies anyway uh like i said it's all about embracing your journey as a model yeah so is what you're doing in modeling what you wanted to to be like 10 years ago 10 years ago must mm -hmm. have been uh, when i was still in high school yeah. okay so basically yes and no so mm -hmm. when i was in high school i wanted to to be in a, in a magazine, in an editorial, and oh. I wanted to walk the, the runways, you know? I mm -hmm. wanted to be on telly and uh, do a commercial. Basically, mm -hmm. those are the things I wanted to do when I was in high school, I mean, 10 years ago. Yeah. So, um, basically, it's been, I've accomplished some, some mm -hmm. I haven't, but mm -hmm. with the Kenyan modeling industry, I would say I've accomplished all that I wanted to accomplish. Perfect. So when was your turnaround in modeling? Uh, when I joined Moches Models. Mm -hmm. So I got to know Moches Models uh, when just when I joined KU. Mm -hmm. uh, a stylist called Babu introdu introduced me to Dorothy, mm -hmm. uh, who is a manager. Yeah. And uh, that was my turnaround. Apparently with Moches Models, I got to, I got to walk big Kenyan fashion events. Mm -hmm. Apparently, all big Kenyan fashion events, and uh, I've managed to do, to do adverts uh, mm -hmm. and also to get on to be onto a magazine like True Love, for example. I am a runway model. Oh, you're a runway model, and in between, I've seen you, you know, doing commercials, uh, yes. doing editorial, you know, editorials. How did yeah. you manage all that? You know, you started as a runway model, then you've been doing all this at the same time. Okay, so mainly I managed um, to do that because Moches is quite, they are diversing. So mm -hmm. other than just doing uh, fashion runways, which I, I tend to think uh, are not good paying as much as commercial modeling is. Mm -hmm. So when I noticed there's a, this other aspect of modeling that yeah. pays better, I thought why not actually get to, to that side. Yeah. So I... Moche's model was quite flexible with me after my term ended, my first, mm -hmm. my first uh, term. Yeah. Uh, I was flexible to work with other um, agencies. So I've worked with uh, Ajuma Limited and they were yeah. one of the agency I managed to do commercials with. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, Runway introduced me to another type of 
modeling, which was now commercial modeling. Wow, that is so really amazing. Ajuma Limited is so big in Kenya, yeah. And uh, you've been doing it big time. Right now, let's talk about uh, her. What are your parents' perspective, uh, perspective about what you're doing in modeling? Do they love it? Do they support it? What are your friends saying about it? My parents are really loving it. I mean, my dad is yeah. late, though at, at the time when he was here, he yeah. was supportive enough. I remember one time when I wanted to go for auditions and yeah. uh, I had no, no attires, or rather, most of the time when you go for auditions, you need a vest yeah. and yeah. Um, a skinny tie, I mean, skinnies and heels. Mm. So basically, uh, at the time when I was joining KU, I was not yeah. able to buy myself heels. Mm -hmm. So they came in and tried to help me. So get yeah. the good attires I need when going for casting. And mm -hmm. of course, the right um, pair of shoes. Yeah. And uh, my mom always wanted to see me on telly. So for her, she needed uh, to come in whichever ways I, I, I inquired or asked. Mm -hmm. And... Um, also, they would allow me, they knew, I'm, I'm a firstborn, so I'm a responsible mm -hmm. uh, child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my mom was not fearing that probably I would end up uh, getting bad influence from mm -hmm. other models. Yeah. For her, she saw that as giving me an opportunity to be a better person. So they gave me that platform of, you can do it. They did not refuse or let me join modeling. They gave me, they told me, if this is what you want, Go for it, we will support you, we we'll buy you yeah. what you need for a start. Mm -hmm. And later on, I was able to get all of these other things they were giving me at the beginning. So mm -hmm. they've been supportive, my friends are supportive. They always like it when they see me on a billboard. Mm -hmm. First time I was on a billboard, um, yeah. a friend called me. So I uh -huh. had no idea, like, I did not know when, it, when the billboard would be put up. Uh -huh. yeah. So one of my friends saw it and called me and said, oh my, I saw you on a billboard. And I was like, oh really, you did? <laughs> So they, they, yeah. they, all get, they, they all get happy when they see me do something yeah. model related. There is one thing that I love about uh, your parents, yeah? It's like your mom wanted you to be, wanted to see you on a tele and, you know, you've, here you are on a tele, you see? <laughs> so mama, we yeah, made it. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about some of the shows, uh, some of the memorable shows, fashion shows that you've done. Yeah. Oh, yeah the, I think my most memorable show was Fashion High Tea. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a fashion event that brings in um, many fashion entrepreneurs into, you know, um, mm -hmm. together. So yeah, it's an yeah. outdoor activity, involves mm -hmm. fashion, uh, food, mm -hmm. and um, the proceedings of the event are actually used for charity. Yeah. So, Fashion Haiti has been my one of my greatest um, platforms. Other than, of course, not mentioning the likes of, uh, you know, Nairobi Fashion Week. Uh, mm. uh, we've had uh, various events organized by Mocha's models themselves. Mm. Yeah. And uh, the top uh, fashion events in, in Kenya, basically, it's been a great deal. And recently, of course, you know, you the likes of JW Fashion mm -hmm. Event. Yeah. Uh, which is growing and uh, mm -hmm. getting to involve, or rather to eradicate for made in Kenya mm -hmm. and uh, by Kenyans. So it's a movement to actually encourage uh, Kenyans or rather designers to, mm -hmm. you know, get out of their comfort zone, design good attires so that mm -hmm. people can actually be proud to yeah. buy what is made in Kenya and by Kenyans. By Kenyans. And that is the current initiative right now because we need to support our own, yeah? You did uh, the JW show for last year, yeah? Are you in the lineup for yeah. this year's edition? So for this year, I gave the chance to people I've been trying to mentor in yeah. modeling. Yeah. So I will not be there on the runway. I'll be on the background, per se. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, I decided to give my chance to someone else. Ah, that's amazing. That's really amazing. Yeah. Let's talk about your your love for the nature, yeah? Oh, so I, I, I started loving the environment when I joined, uh, rather when I became a scout. So yeah. I've been a scout since mm -hmm. primary school. Mm -hmm. yeah. And 
scouting, one of the things, you know, uh, we do is conserve nature. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got to love being, you know, conserving yeah. nature. Mm -hmm. So um, I do, what I do is every year uh, mm -hmm. on my birthday, I plant a number of trees similar to my age. Mm -hmm. So if I were turning 26 yeah. or turning 15, Mm -hmm. I'm not turning well, 15, of course. <laughs> I, I, would, I would plant, like, if I'm turning 26, I plant 26 trees. And I do yeah. not just plant the trees. I yeah. grow them. Wow. So last year, I went to um, Nakuru mm -hmm. and uh, Nakuru Forest and planted trees there. Mm -hmm. This year, I did, because of the lockdown, <laughs> I could you. not travel. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I planted trees at home. Luckily, yeah. I was home. Yeah. yeah. I was up country. So this year I planted trees around my home and what? they are growing. <laughs> that's an so that's, that's my story. personal yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's my personal initiative. It's yeah. not it's not a, it's not an idea by me. Mm -hmm. It was passed to me and I mm -hmm. I embraced it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna pass it to my generation. I bring in my friends to come in. Like uh, mm -hmm. last year we were a group of models. Yeah. This year, I was a group. I mean, I had my family mm -hmm. come in. Yeah. Uh, next year, we we'll plan again which kind of group I'll invite. And each and every person should, they plant their own trees. I plant the number of trees that I need to do. And it's a great initiative to, you know, conserve nature. And without, without flora, fauna mm -hmm. cannot exist. So Absolutely. basically, we need them to survive. All right. Ida, thank you so so much. Yeah. All right. Oh, and J JW is coming soon, so yeah. guys should get tickets. 